Have you ever asked yourself, what is stage presence or what's my persona and what the hell is a persona anyway? Hi, Jerry Corley, StandUpComedyClinic.com with another episode of Ask the Joke Doctor. In this episode, we're going to be talking about an email I received as opposed to a tweet. Somebody, I guess, didn't have a Twitter account and they decided to just send me an email, which is cool. Let's check it out. It's uh, from Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee says, hello, Jerry. I'm 18 years old. I've done stand-up twice. I'm from Liverpool and I'm about to go to America to coach football. I'm assuming soccer. Uh, yeah, America needs some uh, coaches, certainly in the men's level for soccer, uh, since the men didn't get into the World Cup, didn't even qualify. Uh, so um, uh, thanks for coming over and lending a hand. Um, my question is, how can I develop better stage presence? The one thing I picked up on is the more alive comedians get better reactions, even if their jokes aren't great. Is there anything I can do to help me with stage presence? Thank you. Well, Brandon, a uh, great question, by the way, and a lot of people have the same question. Now, here's the thing to, to remember. First of all, there's a lot of answers, a lot of questions in this particular email. Um, how can I develop a better stage presence? Uh, one thing uh, is like, first of all, what is stage presence? Uh, here it is in a nutshell. It's you being you. It's you being the same person you are at the bar with your friends as you are on stage. And that takes practice. It takes practice multiple times getting up on stage so where the stage feels like your home so that you can have a conversation with the audience. So, st uh, so stand up as a conversation and we'll get to that a little later. But um, you said the one thing I picked up on is that the more alive comedians uh, get better reactions even if there are no jokes or even if their jokes aren't great. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> I hope the alive comedians are getting better reactions because um, if there's dead comedians uh, that are getting reactions, we've got a problem, right? But here's the thing. I, know, I think I know what you mean by alive, present, alive, vivacious, energy, right? Hey, it's me. Now, here's something I want you to take away. If anything you take away from learning anything on this channel, this is worth a million dollars. The audience is in whatever state the performer is in. The audience is in whatever state the performer is in. And I'm not talking about geography. So if you're in a grand mood, if you're happy, if you're energetic, the audience will be energetic. Yeah, despite the fact that individual jokes don't pop, if you're in a great mood, if you're having a great time, like if you're doing some jokes and they're not working and you're like, wow, I suck today, There's, the audience is going to laugh with you and they're going to, in their heads, they're going to go, hey, I like that guy as you leave the stage. If you keep that sense of humor, uh, if you keep that sort of sense of spunk, sense of funny, you're a comedian after all, you should be able to make fun of the fact that jokes aren't working if you are a comedian. Now, so that's one way. So the, if, um, if there, uh, is there anything I can do to help me with stage presence? Uh, back to the other question. Not all comedians with more alive stage presence are the best. If you go back and look at somebody like Stephen Wright or Mitch Hedberg, they're very low energy comedians. Uh, Dave Chappelle is a top comedian. His energy isn't popping. I mean, he's not up there going, hey, people, you know, he's up there doing his thing and doing it at his, at his own pace. So um, the confidence level of just being present and talking to the audience is number one. Uh, Lauren Michaels, who is the executive producer, creator of Saturday Night Live, a live comedy sketch show that's been on the air here in the United States for 40 years. Lauren Michaels said, the first thing an audience looks for in their comedians is confidence. So if you get up there and you have confidence, confidence can be expressed through silence. Confidence can be expressed through taking a lot of pauses. Just sort of getting up there and thinking for a second and saying, you know, I've been married now for 13 years. Got a few kids. 
Yeah. The audience is probably going to giggle at the fact that they get what you just said. You know, they get you're the midlife crisis guy or something. You know what I'm saying? So those pauses can also transmit communication. You don't always have to be on and have to be fast in order to get feedback from the audience, right? As long as it's sincere, as long as it's true. So uh, moving forward, here's uh, some of the things. Uh, first thing you want to work as far as your own stage presence is learning to be yourself, which is key, right? Learning to be yourself. No better stage in the world than a stand-up stage to teach yourself to be yourself and be in the moment. What's powerful about knowing this is for actors. Actors, I've been an actor for a long time, and one of the number one things that casting directors say to actors after they read is, that was nice. Now, um, just do it again now, but be yourself. And actors are like, what do you mean, be myself? I've been practicing character my entire life. You know? So it's like being yourself, being present with the audience, and learning how to do that with complete strangers is key. And that comes through repetition and practice and getting out there and actually putting yourself in the situation where you start a conversation with somebody in the, in the audience, where you have some jokes, of course, but you can start some crowd work with them and work it in sort of organically. Like if I say something like that, um, I have five kids. I have five kids because uh, I'm only half Mormon. Anybody else with kids? You got kids? You got kids? Uh, what's your name? You know, guy says, Ken. Yeah, Ken. So, uh, Ken, how many kids do you have, man? See, I'm right away having a conversation, like I'm meeting the person, and just, it's a conversation. It's natural. That's one way to develop stage presence. The, uh, another way to develop stage presence is to design a character and get on the stage as a character. That might help you with stage presence. I prefer to be me on stage. And learning just to communicate with the audience is essential. Just have a conversation, but have some jokes built in. That's where craft comes in. Being able to take your jokes and have them finessed so that they sound like it's coming off the top of your head and you're just having a conversation with the audience. So just start with being yourself. Best lesson I received in comedy is this. Express yourself. Show your emotion. What are you trying to say with your jokes? My, here's the best lesson. I, I, I did five minutes in front of my acting class and years and years ago. And um, the teacher said, oh, you're doing stand-up. Do five minutes. So I did five minutes. Now, I thought the material was great. I thought me mechanically, the material was sound. The jokes were good. The audience laughed everywhere where I wanted them to, to laugh. The teacher sat there with her arms folded, and she said, oh, look, Jerry thinks his jokes are so funny he doesn't need to perform them. And I said, what do you mean by that? And she said, I don't know how you feel about any of that stuff, so I don't care. Hmm, right? It's like, if you think about it, human beings connect through emotion. Words are almost superfluous. What do they say? 7% of communication is, not, is, is, is verbal? 7% are the words. The rest is body language and emotion. So if you get up on stage and you express yourself through your jokes, it's going to be part of where your persona is coming from. What are you trying to say? So be your, uh, it's like the best lesson is express yourself through your jokes. Don't just say your words. You know? Say what they mean. They have intention. Everywhere along the way, there, there's going to be vocal inflections. There's going to be things that you have a feeling about. Every moment, it's just like being an actor in a sense. But being able to, and that takes practice, doing this so regularly that you can easily express yourself on that stage and be in that moment and share a joke or a story and still have some substance behind it that makes sense. It makes sense. So ask yourself the questions of like, um, you know, uh, what's my angle or POV? What do I feel about this joke? What am I trying to say with this joke? Um, my angle is, uh, I think it's ridiculous or that's nonsense, or uh, you know, I don't know about that, uh, sarcasm, or it's confusion. What? I, that doesn't make any sense. You know? So it's like, where is the, what's your angle? What's your point of view on the subject matter? That'll help you communicate what you're trying to communicate. If you think about, if you take everything about stage presence and throw it out, and just try to communicate what you're trying to say and what you mean by what you're trying to say, you'll overcome a huge percentage of the stage presence problem. 
Stage presence is really being present and expressing yourself with what you're trying to say with the material, right? So if I get up there and I go, I don't give a fuck who you voted for for president. I don't. I don't care. You know, it's been an American tradition since the beginning of this country, by the way, that we make fun of our presidents. That's what we do. It's an American tradition. So if you've got a problem with me making fun of the president, whoever it is, Maybe your problem isn't with me. Maybe your problem is, is with wondering whether or not you're truly an American. So what I'm, see what I'm doing is every moment, every tiny moment in that expression was filtered through um, some sort of emotion and my point of view and my uh, angle of, yeah, come on now. If you've got a problem with me making jokes, maybe the problem isn't with me. Maybe the problem is with you. You know, you know what I'm saying? So. It's what is your angle? What do you, what do you feel about the joke? What's, so that'll get you to stage presence. You know, ask yourself the questions as you're, talking about, as you're writing your jokes or preparing your jokes. Does it frustrate you? Are you frustrated? Is it, uh, uh, does it anger you? Are you mad? Uh, does it confuse you? Or does it annoy you? All of these things will help you get to the, uh, how to express yourself in that joke. Is it weird? Is it odd? Is it confusing? You know, sometimes I get up on stage and I'll go, oh my God, so I'm in love. Thank you very much. Don't tell my wife. See, in that moment of I'm in love, I'm really feeling like, wow, if I met the girl of my dreams, I'm in love, right? I'm in love. Don't, don't tell my wife. See what I'm saying? There's got to be a change. Those are really authentic emotions that I'm playing. And the audience, as a result, is going to respond to not just the words, but also the emotion, the change in emotion. So that's part of what stage presence is too. Stand-up comedy, as I said earlier, is a conversation. It's a one-sided conversation for the most part, but every time you're speaking, you are waiting or looking at that audience to see if they're acknowledging you. Every time, to, every time you talk, somebody's going to give sort of acknowledgement that they're listening to you. Like if you say something of, uh, did you hear about this? Um, I, I just read this, that 60% of all women who drink coffee, coffee addicted women, 60% of all coffee addicted women say that when they ran out of filters, they used pantyhose instead. Now when I say that, that's expected to get some sort of emotional reaction from the audience, even if it's subtle, like a, oh. Now, I'm going to wait for that, right? They use pantyhose instead. Yeah, pantyhose. You see what I'm saying? We're having a, we're having a conversation. It's like, and 100% uh, of the women who did use pantyhose uh, wish they had washed them first. So, yeah, well, let's see. Huh. Yep. That's a, definitely a caramel macchiato right there. See what I'm saying? So you, you've got to have, have that conversation with the audience. They've got to allow them to process what you said so you can follow up with the punchline. You know, if they're not processing what you said, either you're not clarifying, your enunciation is off, or they don't understand what you're talking about. And if they don't understand what you're talking about, you have to stop and ask them. You guys didn't hear about this? You didn't hear about this. No, the, about the, you know, earthquake the other day. You hear, well, there goes that joke. See what I'm saying? And they'll laugh at the fact that because they didn't hear about it, you have to move on to the next joke. So, but the conversation has to be there. You have to be present with them. You have to be paying attention to what they're thinking. They, you know, you have to make sure they're listening. So as a comedian, you have to acutely listen to what they're saying. So, and if you're not listening to them, they're not gonna to listen to you. So if you're just worried about telling your jokes and not worried about whether or not they're enjoying themselves, listening, understanding, then you're really not there for them. They're, you're there for you. So you've gotta make sure you get that straight. You know, that will help with stage presence. I am there for these people. How are you guys doing? No, really, how are you doing? So that really shows that you're in, you're in tune with them. So that's key as well. Um, here's techniques you can use. Uh, what's some, look up some of your favorite comedians. 
Uh, what are some of your favorite comedians? Study what they do to appear present with the audience. That will, my, sometimes as I'm telling you this, maybe you can't see it, but sometimes when you watch other comics do it, all of a sudden it opens up, it, 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 it lights that light bulb for you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, try to do that. Watch comedians, see how they stay present with the audience. A lot of it's confidence. A lot of it's taking time with the pauses. A lot of it's being self-assured up on stage. And that helps them to find their voice. Not rushing. If you're hurrying, you can't be present. If you're hurrying, you can't really give each joke its just dessert. You can't give it, you know, it's just test with the audience because you're rushing. Does that make sense? So take your time, allow the audience to process what you said and react. You know, and that's right, the audience will react with what you say. They'll laugh, they'll applaud, they'll sigh, they'll groan. If you're not giving them time to process, then you're not taking, you're not being present on stage. So allow that to happen. You know, even intentionally, just stand there and pause after you do a joke. Deadpan them. Stare at them until they respond. Somehow, it's going to build tension. and got to, There's got to be a re release point somewhere. So give it a shot and take that. Uh, that, should, that should help you. And that's it on that particular subject. So I hope uh, that this answered your question and uh, about stage presence and being uh, present on stage and about the, li the alive comedians versus the not alive comedians or the less energetic comedians. It's all about being present and having authentic emotions on stage. You know, being present with that audience, man. That's what it's all about. I hope you got some value from this video. And uh, so if you like what you see on this channel, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions that you would like answered uh, via a video just like this one, you can hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Joke Doctor. And hit it with the hashtag Ask the Joke Doctor, and I will do a video like this for you and help you along the way. So once again, I hope this brought value to your day. Uh, I bring about 30 years of stand-up experience to uh, this channel. Uh, I'm doing it because I love to help. Uh, I love to, uh, you know, give comedians some guidance because there's a lot of crazy shit out there that people try to tell you and it can stifle comedians and paralyze their creativity. Uh, so uh, I want to try to help you avoid that, help you move forward and get better with more efficiency. So once again, I'm Jerry Corley, StandUpComedyClinic.com and I will talk to you again in the next video, uh, by the way, which is going to talk about a... Uh, a scientific breakthrough in the way people can teach. So it's really kind of been supporting science now, supporting the stuff that I've been uh, talking about for the last 10 years on the Stand Up Comedy Clinic, uh, at the Stand Up Comedy, Comedy Clinic in my studios, in my classes, and now on YouTube. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's, it's very exciting. It's got me all jacked up. So I, uh, once again, hit me up if you want the, uh, if you want a video like this for you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell that shows up, too, uh, so that you can get notifications and uh, be alerted every time I put up a new video. I will talk to you again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.